cases here. We have some special cases here. Uh, number eight. Let me get number eight and we'll call it a day. We have some special cases that you realized when you got to it yesterday and you're like, I can't do this. I don't want to deal with this. Here is the deal. Under, under your standard form, we have, if you have a linear equation that says y equals something, here should be your thought process. First of all, if y equals negative 4, well that's the y-intercept. Because remember when you solved the other intercepts, it was x equals y equals. 
So you know this line is going to cross y at negative 4. Secondly, Max is having a hard time with that. Secondly is this, to deal with this is if you are making a table of x and y values, if y equals negative 4, it doesn't matter what x is. y is always going to be negative 4. So you could put, you know, whatever you want, negative 2, 0, positive 2 in there. No matter what, y is going to be negative 4. Negative 2, negative 4, positive 2, negative 4. Uh, to simplify the matters, if it is a y, if it is a y equal equation, okay, it is going to be a horizontal line. Triple exclamation point, because that's what it has to be. And depending on what the y equals, if y equaled 4, then here, where y is 4, it is a horizontal line. You don't have to graph anything. You really don't have to do anything. It's just y is always 4, so it's always going to be there. If y was uh, negative 6, then right here at negative 6, it's going to be a horizontal line. All of those, which by the way, all of those are functions. Because there's only one term. If it confuses you that there's not an x term, you could always rewrite this equation to be y equals 0x minus 4. It would be the same thing. Or if you wanted it in standard form, you'd have 0x plus y equals negative 4. All of those would be true. Jay Shaw. So then would x like be a vertical one? Now, Jordan, don't steal my thunder. I haven't got to the x's yet, but that's exactly what it's going to be. Jordan, Jordan has glanced upon the next thing. If it is x equals, no matter what y is, x is always going to be 5. So here where x is 5, no matter what y is, you are always going to get a vertical line. x equals is a vertical line. No matter what y is, x is always going to be 5 at whatever point that is. If we were graphing x equals uh, negative 2, then here where x is negative 2, it's going to be a vertical line right there. Is x equals a negative 2, is that a function? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. It doesn't cross the vertical line test because at every vertical line it has zillions of values. Remember, the vertical line can only cross the graph at one place. Oh. This is a vertical line, and it crosses, it crosses everywhere. Now, if you were writing this in standard form, again, it would be x plus 0, y equals negative 2. Everybody, Kel got those both right. Give her one small clap. Did you get this other one right? Now, here was the other issue we had. And this is the only place where standard form kind of falls apart is in this case here. Because as most of you found, if you put 0 in for x, the y-intercept is 0. And if you put 0 in for y, the x-intercept is 0. And unfortunately, that just gives you one point. And one point doth not a line make. Max, one point doth not a line make. So here is your only option to this, is if this happens, you're going to have to plot one more point. Which means, actually you might want to plot two, which means you really your only option is to make an xy table and figure out one more point. For example, if I have this and I said, well, let's make, let's make x2, what's y going to be? Well, so I put 2 in for x, and I'd have to solve this goofy equation, which none of you are going to like. How do I solve that equation? I have to slide my 2 over, so I subtract 2, which means I get negative 2 over there. If 2y equals negative 2, you divide by 2, you divide by 2. So y would equal negative 1. So here where x is 2, y is negative 1, you get that point, and then you can graph the line. 
you should shed a small amount of tears if you see this, this happen. This is always going to happen, by the way, if it equals zero. You're saying, hey, show us another one. In other words, hey, hey. this. If you have 3x minus 2y equals zero, that's in standard form. Okay, both the x and the y intercept are zero because if you cover up this, you get zero, you cover up that, zero. Your only way to figure this out is just to sit and plot out a point. Pick an x value, pick a y value. And it's your, you know, you're your own boss on this, so I would pick a value that works out nicely. For example, you know, if you're picking a y value, you know, 3 has to go into it. So you want to pick something when you multiply by 2, it's nicely divisible by 3. Conrad, what would be a good number to pick? Well, let's pick x. We have to pick x because we don't want to. Give me an x number that is divisible by. When I multiply 3 by what number, it needs to be divisible by 2. 2. Yeah, why not? So if you put 2 in for x, 3 times 2 is 6. I have to move that 6 over there, so I subtract it over. So I get negative 6. If negative 2y equals negative 6, what does y equal? Divide by negative 2. Y equals 3. So you know this is a point on that graph. So here at 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, you get the line. Negative 3. Yeah. It's who? Yeah. Negative 3. No, they were both negative. When I moved that 6 over there, it became negative, and I had to divide it by a negative. Negative divided by negative is positive. How does that? Did I, did, I, did I clear up the monkey waters of all of your disillusionment? Maybe. Maybe. What? Again, the one thing just to remember is that if it's an x equals equation, it's going to be a vertical line. If it's a y equals one, it's going to be a horizontal line. This one here. Do you remember? Do you remember solving by slope intercept form or not? Yes. Yeah. Really? No, no, no. Well, we haven't, yeah, we've done it. I haven't done it. I just wanted to remember. All right. Oh, we have this much time. Time. Mm. Seems like it should be. Time is oh, I know why. I had a quiz for you. Quiz, and there's not anything new, but you need to do lesson 35, lesson 3, 5, or one through, problem 1 through 15. And I think you'll have plenty of time to get that Thank done. You. Oh, you're welcome. I greatly appreciate your guys being here. Kelly? Um, yours too, for being happy enough to give us that. Thank you. And this is the point where we stop this crazy.